my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this. This is a video on the word Daco. Now Daco was not known in the ninja community until the uh, Shoninki came out. What I'd like to say is that Daco comes from either Shinku Sonoki Ryu or it comes from um, Natori Ryu, um, which are, to be honest, the same thing. So you're looking at a Kusunoki lineage or a Natori lineage. And Daco comes in really two major forms. The first form is as a skill, and that is the idea of walking around and getting information. The second comes in the form of Dako can overall mean ninjutsu, or the skill of getting information via ninjutsu. And to be honest, it's a little confusing because they change the two around. So, however, uh, divide Dako into three major points. The first point is point one, and this is Dako as multiple dialects. That um, the ability to have the uh, is to have the ability to speak in multiple dialects, not languages, but dialects within Japan. Number two, Dako can also be listening to conversations. So if this was a bar here or uh, an izakaya, as they are in Japan in the old days, a shinobi would sit around and he'd be drunk, pretending to be drunk, and he'd be listening, or he'd be sat at a way station or uh, any inn or something like that. And you'd be listening conversation after conversation. And if you've got 10 or 20 shinobi out in the area, they come back and you start to build a picture of what's going on. The third version of Dako is to live a lie. That means the idea is that you as a shinobi go out in the world and you do lots of things, but your life is a total lie. Everything, 24 hours a day, you live the lie, 100%. Until, I suppose, it doesn't say this, but until you believe it. And the idea is that you become the lie and you become another person. So that is Dako. If you're interested in this subject and other subjects about the ninja, please see the new book, In Search of a Ninja, out now on Amazon and in all good bookshops. Right, we're still at Thorpe Park, and as you can see, typical English weather. It was uh, sunny about five minutes ago. And now it's peppering it down with rain. So we're riding out behind the bike shed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Give me that rod. Look. Look at that. It was literally really sunny before. Go on, run girls. <laughs> Believe it or not, five minutes later, when the sun's out, it's absolutely boiling. Typical England, eh?